Hello there, Mercedes here from prettywebs.com and today I'm gonna show you how to make an Instagram puzzle feed inside of Photoshop. And I'm also gonna show you how to set up slices so that you can export each portion of your larger image into smaller sections with just a few clicks. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Right now we're gonna create a new document, but I wanted to show you this because your document needs to be 3,240 pixels wide. An Instagram feed image is 1080 by 1080, so they're gonna be square images, but you may want to include more boxes in the length of this. Your width is definitely gonna be 3,240. If you want nine boxes, your entire canvas will be 3,240 by 3,240. If you wanna add more down here, say you want 12 or 15 boxes for your Instagram puzzle, then then you'll have to add 1080 to the length for as many new boxes as you want. So this puzzle grid right here is 3240 by 3240. For the next one that we create, I'm gonna create one that is 3240 by 4320. That's just adding 1080 to the bottom of this canvas. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. And we're gonna set this up for 3240. And like I said before, our width is gonna be 4320. Resolution is 72, this is for web. And you can go ahead and leave it as a transparent or colored image, it doesn't matter. Click Create. So this is our initial canvas. I'm gonna go ahead and color it. I'll make it black just so that you can see it a little bit better. So we're gonna come over to the Slice tool that's over here, usually underneath the crop. When you have the slice tool selected, you're gonna have these options up here at top. So your style that we're gonna use here is gonna be a fixed size. And our width is gonna be 1080 by 1080 because that's the size of each one of your Instagram posts. So once you have that set up, we're gonna come over here to the corner. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Okay, go back into the slice. We're gonna just grab the corner right here and it's gonna create a box. And then we'll just come to the next corner, click on it again to create another box and click on it again. And then we're gonna just keep doing this until we get to the end of our grid. Okay, once we have our entire grid created, you zoom out a little bit. You can see what it looks like here. This is still one document, but we have all of these grid lines here that are gonna show us what each one of our puzzle image is gonna look like. You can use this for a regular Instagram feed as well just to see what your images will look like. But this is particularly useful for the puzzle feed. So once we have that all set up, I wanna show you what all of these little things do here in the corner. You can see that you have some numbers set up, one, two, three, and then it goes all the way to 12. So we have a 12 grid section right here. You can also come back up here to the slice tool. And if you go to slice select, that's gonna let you, if you double click here on this little colored area, uh, just double click there and you're gonna get the slice options. This area is gonna allow you to change the name of each one of your slices here. That's gonna be very important because when you upload this to Instagram, you need to know that this is the first picture, the second picture, the third picture, and you can name these in any way you want. I'm gonna cancel that and actually save this. I'm gonna save it as IG. And I already have one saved, so I'm gonna call this one IG Feed One. Click OK. Now when I come back in here, I'm gonna double click that again. And now every single one of these is gonna be named IG Feed. It'll have a number one. If you come down here to Dimensions, this is where you can make sure that what you set up with all of the clicking that we did earlier is accurate so this is 1080 by 1080 that one's good sometimes they don't work out so you need to just double check just to make sure this is 
image number two, number three, and I'm just going to go through and check all of these to make sure that they're labeled correctly and that my dimensions are correct. Okay, so everything is good. Our Instagram template is set up properly. Everything is labeled the way it should be. We're going to add some images. So I'll come to File, Place Embedded, and I have a couple pictures here. I'm going to grab this one and place this. If I wanted to add just one image, I could easily do that. We'll just add this and we can slice this one picture up into 12 different sections. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. So we'll come up to File, Export, and we're going to Save for Web. Now that we're inside of the Save for Web area, I want to show you how to look at each one of these images. We're going to bring this from 100% down to, um, we'll leave it at 12.5%. So we have it on slices, and then there's this little toggle slice visibility section. Make sure that that is clicked on. And from there, you can go to each one of the images. It'll tell you here how big that image is going to be or the file size of the image. And then you can also get a good idea of what that image is going to look like. Okay, so now that you've seen all of your images and what they're going to look like, we're going to hit save. And then it's going to ask us where we want to save it. We're going to save this to the desktop. I'm going to save it in the IG feed file and then we'll press save. Go over to the desktop. I have my IG feed folder right here and we have this new folder called images. This is what all of the images look like. So we just grab that one image and we cut it up into 12 different slices and this is what those slices look like. So you have some areas that are very interesting like the eyes, the lips, and the side of the face. These are these are all very interesting pictures, but you also have some right here that don't make any sense. There are very few people that will actually go to your profile and look at your entire feed. They may do that if they're deciding whether they want to follow you or not. Uh, so you do want it to look really nice. But for those people that are already following you and they're getting your images in their own news feed, this is probably not the best approach. I would recommend that you use an Instagram puzzle feed for connecting similar images. Maybe have one image flow into the next. Something like this is probably just going to annoy the people that are following you. So we're going to go back into Photoshop and I'm going to show you one that I created. This is just a fun, really quick idea, but I wanted to give you an example of how this could work. So this is more of a collage than a puzzle, uh, but it also can work as a puzzle because you have these images right here coming in and out of, you know, one slice and then into another. The most important thing about this right here is that it tells a story. She has a new lookbook on her blog but she's kind of telling that story by dripping all of these images out and then finally giving that ultimate message right there. Every single image has a focus in it. This first image has her face, a picture of her in here. Maybe there's nothing, but we added some text. Uh, this one right here was a little bit awkward. We had her just cut in half right there and a little bit of texture here. So, you know, adding some text to these images definitely helps, especially when they're something like this that doesn't quite make sense. And then adding other decorative elements like this fall texture here are all things that you could consider. You don't have to do frames like this. But again, these types of things do add a lot of interest to your images. So if you're going to continue this theme coming down with new images or a new storyline, then you need to make sure that the images that you put in here are seamless from top to bottom. Meaning if you add another image right here, it has to make sense contextually to the rest of this feed. Usually I won't allow these uh, photos to get cropped off up here just so that this story doesn't end abruptly. 
give them some space down here and then start something new here. So if you use new colors, uh, new textures, patterns, images that have a completely different theme, then when somebody goes through your feed, they're going to know the difference. They're going to know that this story belongs together versus something else. If you want a continuous puzzle feed like this, just make sure that your colors and your design flows well together in order to create a seamless pattern. And hopefully the way I explained that makes made a little bit of sense to you. So I hope you can see that uh, creating a template like this for an Instagram puzzle feed is very easy to do. It can be done in a matter of minutes. But if you like this template right here that I've created uh, with all of these shapes and, and textures, you can definitely grab this on the blog at prettywebs.com forward slash Instagram puzzle feed. So that's it for this one. It's a pretty straightforward, simple tutorial on the Instagram puzzle template. If you like this video, Make sure to hit that like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to this channel. It would really mean the world to me if you did that. And of course, visit me at prettywebs.com to get more tutorials, graphics, templates, and tons of free resources for doing business online. Until next time, thanks for watching.